If you take race from launch control, we've got two um, different stages of the launch control. The launch control RPM and the launch control target manifold pressure. We're currently in uh, map switch mode 1, indicated here on the coolant tank, indicated here on the rev counter. We're going to keep it in mode 1 and we're going to go into launch mode. So using race ROM launch controller, we select drive, TCM into race mode. We um, have configured it so that we can run this car with traction control off and foot on the brake and we're going to go into launch mode and you will see that we're in launch mode because of how quickly the manifold pressure will shoot up and then control the RPM at around 4000 RPM so full throttle that's launch control enabled now we can control the launch RPM using the cruise control so just for purpose I'm going to drop the launch RPM down to around 3500 using the cruise control while we're in the mode Launch control enable. Down, down, down. Launch control would now be 3,400 RPM should we choose to launch. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to go back up to 4,000 RPM. So, foot on the brake, full throttle, up, 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 4,100 RPM. So, we can use the launch control adjustability to change the launch RPM depending on how much traction we have, we get too much wheel spin, we can pull the revs down, so we've got less RPM at launch, we've got plenty of traction, we can take the RPM up, so we've got more RPM ready for launch. Now, also the latest Race 1 feature file, we also have a very clever closed loop boost control during launch mode. So the launch RPM will stay constant, but we can control manifold pressure, um, this is after the throttle in the engine the plenum sensor and we can control the target pressure now in mode one we've configured this to minus 0.5 bar which is pretty near stock so although we can adjust the rpm the manifold pressure will stay constant so 0.5 bar okay what we've done is configured it for mode three we've got the same launch rpm but in mode 3, save, in mode 3 the target is minus 0.3 bar, I seem to remember. So we shall have the same launch RPM and we will see that the manifold pressure will have increased by 0.2 bar. Go. There we go, ready for launch. Now this pressure reading is after the throttle. If we were to check the pressure before the throttle, the boost sensors after the intercooler before the throttle, where we'd normally see around 0.1 bar for the standard car, we will be up at around 0.3. In fact, let's check it live with the login to see what pressure we increase to. So we start the login. This is the pressure here. make it nice and big so we can see it if we reset the min max we will see what the maximum pressure reading is on this one here so this is the maximum this is the minimum this is the current okay so into launch mode zero point three five bar that's 1.35 bar absolute queuing, waiting to get into the engine. So we go back down to mode one, map switch mode one. We had 0.35, now we're gonna be minus 0.5, and let's see what pre-throttle pressure does. 0.15. So we've gained 0.2 bar up on factory.